Um, so there's, I mean, I'm trying to find positives and things to both drafts here. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, Emperor makes a good point. That's exactly what I was saying. They do have the potential to kind of uh, come back into a fight then and there, right? Um, if you think about it, the supports, uh, the supports on um, Quokka here, they've got much more versatility of how often they can fight, right? In the mid lane, the Night Stock will grab that one. Oh, they commit the tomb to this. Do they have a cookie? They don't have a cookie. It might be enough, however. Punch, he doesn't want to hook up his Night Stalk. In fact, he'll hook the Snap Fight, which might have been the better option, Night Stalker. Crawls away very briefly. Blood Grenade. A few more right clicks might be able to take out this Snap Fight. One more should do it. First Blood does go to Radiant. Does Punch have another hook to help his friend out? Not quite. Three seconds. Not enough there. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right. Punch is a bit of a risk mid as well. Just looking at the heroes getting a bit low here. Shadow Demon using that. Hang on, the Pudge. He's got four Shadow Poisons on him. Pudge might die. He's got five Shadow Poisons on him. One more hit should do it. He actually feeds the um the thing as well. And Pudge gets a solo kill mid. Oh, dear. That would have been a bit better, laning-wise. Lion getting gone on that first, uh, that first knight. And, uh, there's two charges. He should go down anyway. They want to give it to the Night Stalker, but nice stun there. They'll just confirm it on Dong there. He'll grab that one. Good use of the first knight. Wonder what this Necro mid build's going to be. If he's going Blink too, maybe a thousand gold. Not sure what he's trying to buy there. Juggernaut ulti does land onto the creeps, unfortunately. And the defensive disruption there. Here comes the Undying, though. They are going onto the Lion. Nice stun from the Lion. Jug almost got a kill on the Shadow Demon, but the Pudge comes in with the TP in and the hook and the ulti. And unfortunately, it was a nice attempt from uh, Quokka, but it's not working out for them. Oh, this... Actually, they don't have enough to kill all these zombies. They might actually end up killing some people. They got the Pudge, at least. These heroes are so low. Lion gets a zap on the... <laughs> <laughs> no, that poor little... <laughs> it's Quokka's turn. They've smoked on three heroes. Necro's near them as well. They will see the Necro... Actually, no, this is Dire Ward. They're going to hide next to their ward here. And here they go. Snapfire ulti out. Forcing the uh, Shadow Demon to get his uh, save on himself. And that leaves his, uh, his buddy there to go down. The Tombstone does get taken out really quickly, but that's already two heroes dead to Bad Bitch Gaming. The Deusa, though, untouched this entire game. She's going to come in. She had a little bit of damage. Pudge, blink, onto two. Quickly interrupted, though, that ulti, thanks to the Lion. But he's landing every single hook. Meanwhile, Snapfire goes down to the Deusa. Two for one. Lion getting healed up by his buddy. He's so low. He will go down, and now the Veno ulti as well. The rest of Quokka got baited in, and just as I said it, it looks like it's now no longer worth it, as unfortunately they got baited in again by Lion getting hooked there. I think they ju they should have just left him. Got a lot of damage yet, but nobody actually dying yet. The ulti from the, um, sh the Night Stalk has been committed as well. It's a nice tombstone, pretty defensive. The healing ward's out, and it might be time for Bad Bitch Gaming to probably get out of there. No, Pudge gets a nice juicy hook there. Healing ward isn't enough. He's so low on uh, Pudge here. Can they get him? They will They will finally take him out as well. Not using the scythe for him. He's there. It's slowing a lot of them down. This is the, like I said, the strength about these two supports. Lion denying the rune to the sh uh, Night Stalker. Night Stalker ulting, silencing the Lion. Can he get away from the Lion in time? The stun, it's still there. Meanwhile, Pudge ulting onto the Snapfire. He does manage to grab the Snapfire. One for one. Radiant, they're still hungry for more. Night Stalker providing a decent amount of uh, high ground vision there. He is really low though. He needs to poke in and out. Necro getting slowed. He can't really heal up enough here. He's going to go down. And now, uh, like I said again, they're just one by one going in and letting Radiant get these. Th Actually, Pudge is going to kill this. No, he won't. We're almost 19 minutes in and the tier 2 mid and tier 2. Two top actually getting pressured. Pudge blinks in again. Though a little bit too far forward this time. And he gets a scythe to the face. Though they're going to try to get some more return kills for it. They only settle for a lion. And Juggernaut, he's kind of feeling pretty good. He does have an ulti ready. 
No disruption on this uh, Shadow Demon, but I don't know if he knows it. He does know it, because there we go. Solo kill on the Shadow Demon. Buyback on the Snapfire. She went down as well. Stupidity. Meanwhile, in Radiant, they got to get the hell out of there. But Quokka, they don't really have too much catch on their team. So with that, looks like Quokka are a little bit desperate here. They do have another Scythe. They're going to go forward. They're going to get this half HP down, Pudge, and there's the, there's the damage they needed. Looks like the disruption wasn't enough to save. They were trying to land it on the Pudge. He's going to have to try to TP out. Good TP, but it's not quick enough. Poor Necro. <laughs> he's been playing this game. Um, he's been really patient, right? He's been taking these fights when he needs, and pretty much out of all these fights that this Jug has taken, um, they've gotten some pretty good results out of it. Pudge again, blinking forward. He is blinking onto three heroes, though. But like I said, without a Scythe, they can't kill him. He just has that much sustain. He's got a an Ags as well. And there goes the line. There goes the Snapfire. And the Tomb, it doesn't really do much against them. And that's three more heroes dead. And all Jug and Necro can do is just watch. Pudge, there we go. Ulti as well. No stuns to disrupt it. But he is alone. This Pudge, a Jug just throws his ulti on him. There's the Scythe. He goes down. All right, Jug's getting some stuff done here. Get anything you can. Necro, only level 14, and he needs to be careful going in like that. This Necro, I'm not sure what the plan was there. He blinks right on top of them, and it's given BBG just such a great time. Jug, he's going to ulti. It's going to deal a decent amount of damage on a lot of people. This is the one net worth hero that's m holding them into this game. Snapfire ulti. Going to push them out as well. This Juggernaut is keeping this game alive for Quokka, I think. they got to be careful, though. Pudge, Blink, Ulti is ready for the Jug. Can they save him? Cookie. Oh, he's so much damage, though. They do get him out of there. They will trade the life for the Snapfire as a result. But do so. She's hitting hard. Rain Track's probably going to go down soon. They're going to Ulti on the Pudge again. They do have a Scythe. Here's the Scythe. So Pudge will go down. Good start. Do so, though. Age is still ready. I'm not sure if... Can get anything else out of it. Jug needs to be a little bit careful. Healing ward. I don't know if that's going to keep him alive. He's in trouble now. Going to have to be healed by anybody. No one else can heal him. Jug's dead. Dusa, they're using spells on her, but she's got Aegis anyway. The tombstone, it's there. And it's going to go down pretty quickly as well. Dusa, she turns it around, starts smacking everybody. Necro forced to try to TP out. He does manage to get out, though. Two buybacks now. I think they shouldn't have bought back. Just let them have this, Rax. Want to turn into a dieback. Careful, Necro. Still no defensive items on Necro. He just gets eaten every time. He buys back. That's the only defense he can he can manage to muster is another body to throw in. Oh, no. The Juggernaut, he got altered by the... He turned around on the Deuce, so that might be game. Closest to the net worth of the Deuce, uh, half of her net worth is now gone for 80 seconds. And they're hiding in their fountain. Still have Aegis on the Dusa. Scardi there as well. And it's a night. It was a good try, but I think Quokka might be out of this one. Unfortunately, all here is gone. And a pretty quick game. Pretty painful way to go, but we do know Quokka. They have performed really well in this tournament, so we're pretty proud of them. The Bad Bitch Gaming, they will convincingly take that one there, right? Alright, and a quick, um... Yeah, congratulations to BBG.